Yo, what is going on, guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. I'm sure you guys all know it's been out. Secret Service, um, Kimberly Cheadle. A, she's resigned from her position. Thank the fucking Lord. But B, it's it's amazing. It's scary how much of a failure, and I think they say in this video, of a colossal failure this was to our country. To any president, to any person. The fact that this shooter was able to get on a roof within 150 yards, I think, of the actual rally is inexcusable. The fact that about a minute before the shooting happened, people in the crowd were saying, hey, there's someone up on the roof telling Secret Service members, law enforcement, and yet nothing was done about it. The fact that he got three or four shots off, killed one person, so critically injured two people, and shot Donald Trump, inexcusable. The whole thing is a fucking mess. And she sits here, you're going to see this video. She sits here, can't answer a question to save her life. And it's so frustrating that this is who's in charge of our Secret Service for the United States of America. Watch this. I have to say, Director, we're pretty close to the halfway point during this. You answered more questions with an ABC reporter than you have with members of Congress. So we have a Facts. lot more questions. The American people are demanding that we get answers to those questions, and that's what the purpose of this hearing is today. So uh, I'm sure a lot of the questions that have already been asked are going to be asked again, and hopefully we can get some answers to those questions questions. I strongly implore you to answer those questions. You're here with a subpoena and we expect you to answer the question. They had to subpoena her to get her in here to testify against these, uh, this committee. They had to pretty much force her to come in and talk to him because she wouldn't do it on her own. Questions. Chair now recognizes Ms. Mason, Unbelievable. South Carolina. As the director of the Secret Service organization, you, th you think that she would come out every day and have a press conference, updates, none of that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, D Director Cheadle. The American people are watching and they're wondering if there are any questions you can answer honestly today. <coughs> so, Director Cheadle, I have a series of questions, very specific questions. I want very specific answers. Most of my questions Damn, she's to cute. a yes or no answer. Do you understand? I do. Okay, my first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter? <laughs> yes or no? No, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love it. Is this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a failure. yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable, yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been Yes eager to or no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue it's a subpoena simple. to get you to show up today. Yes. That is not no. transparent, by the way. You stated earlier, Secret Service is not political. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Would you say leaking your opening statement to Punchbowl News, Politico's playbook, and Washington Post several hours before you sent it to this committee as being political? Yes or no? I have no idea how my statement got out. <sighs> well... That's bullshit. So, Mr. Chairman, Ooh. I would like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record articles by Punchbowl News, Political Playbook, Washington Post, all uh, done at 5.24 a.m., 6.12 a.m., 6.34 a.m., uh, a solid three to four hours before this committee got your statement. Without objection to ordered. Okay. Is the Secret Service fully cooperating with our committee? Yes. Okay, you say you're fully cooperating with this committee. Um, on July 15th, this committee sent you a list 
of demands of information that we wanted. Has the Secret Service provided this committee a complete list of all law enforcement personnel that were there that day? Have you done that? Have you provided a list to the Oversight Committee? Yes I, or no? I'll have to get back to you on that. <laughs> that is a no. Have you provided all Unbelievable. audio recordings in your possession to this committee as we asked on July 15th? Yes or no? I would have to get back to you. That on is that. a no. You're full of shit today. You're just being completely <laughs> dishonest. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so, she is full of shit. She can't answer a simple question because she hasn't done it. She has no idea what happened. She doesn't have a timeline. She is the director of Secret Services. And she doesn't know what happened, where people were. She's not aware of anything, which is scary. That that is who is protecting or supposed to be protecting our president. Mr. Ch I'm Come on, we have to maintain decorum in this committee. Any no matter ah, shut up. Any and all memos to this committee that we've asked you on July 15th? Have you provided all memorandums within the Secret Service? I would have to get back to you on that. That is a no. <laughs> you are being dishonest or lying. I, I just, you're being dishonest here with this committee. These are important questions that the American people want answers to, and you're just, you're just dodging and, and talking around it in generalities. And we had to subpoena you to be here, and you won't even answer the questions. We have asked you repeatedly to answer our questions. This isn't hard. Th these are not hard questions. Um, have you provided us all communications? from the Secret Service related to that day and that rally? Have you provided this committee? We've asked for this information on July 15th. Have you provided any of this information that this committee has asked of the Secret Service? Any of it? I'll have to get back to you. Have you even read this letter that we sent you? Did you even read this? Yes. Okay, and you have uh, said you don't know, you have no idea. Well, the answer is no. We haven't gotten a single document or piece of information or data from you or your agency in related to the rally that we have asked you for. <clears throat> so, um, is this was uh, this uh, attempted assassination of Donald Trump a failure of training or execution or both? I think that those are answers that we need to <laughs> training, ex execution, or both. It's Which simple. One? I think Answer those it. are answers. All right. How many uh, how many Secret Service personnel have lost their jobs due to this colossal failure? At this time, none. <clears throat> How that is so funny too she asked that because obviously one has and it's her how many secret service personnel have been required to take a she didn't lose her course. job but she resigned how thank goodness to let people shoot donald trump our personnel are currently operational we are examining the facts of this investigation and we will make the changes necessary what time did law enforcement become aware that there was an individual on the roof with a clear line of sight to president trump I am still verifying timelines. How does she not know? Uh, nine days in, you have no answers. How many minutes went by between <laughs> the time law enforcement saw and took photos of crooks and the shooting? How many minutes? I am still verifying timelines. 57 minutes. No shit. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Unbelievable. 57 minutes before the shooting happened. And she has no idea. She is clueless. And she is the director of the Secret Service Agency. I'm glad she's gone. She needs justice now too, Ness, that she's resigned. She needs to be charged with murder for the guy, the person that died, uh, for the other casualties. I mean, it is disgusting. It's infuriating, to be honest, that people like this are in charge of our country. That's all. Hope you have a good day. Later.